freaking huge. Oh, sir. How are you today? Doing good? Great. Woo! Woo! guys we are here finally in the sneak room oh yeah we're real busy lately i feel like say a lot oh now all the freaking lights are turning off look all right start the video lights turn off seems to happen i love that for me let's go on here short bing bada boom and on 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 everything's on again all right so today dude she is freaking nuts look at her she's so freaking fast dude so we're gonna feed her at the end of the video. Ooh, see, see how fast she just like, as soon as she knows you're around here, dude, she comes flying out the cage with her mouth open. It is gnarly. So we're gonna feed her at the end of the video. I got a couple snakes in the freezer for Rusty. I have to do something with him again on Sunday. So I just don't wanna feed him before I have to handle him for a bit. So we're gonna hold off on that. I'm still wanna take him out, you know, do a little handling with him real quick before we start this here video. The main focus of this video is gonna be, we're just gonna redo the mama cage a little bit. I got finally, dude, got some grapevine. Josh finally got some grapevine in over at CBK. So uh, we're gonna put that in the mama cage. We gotta take them out, which you know I love doing. So we're just gonna take the mamas out, spot clean their cage a little bit, give them some fresh water, put some more branches in there, rearrange it a little nicer for them. But before that, let's go over here. Let's get my boy out. Hello, sir. Dude, look how big he's getting. Freaking huge. Hello, sir. How are you today? Hmm? Doing good? Great. He looks like he's about to go and shed, too. He's a little bit darker than normal. But you can see he's still pretty orange. Still a very nice light color. Don't get wrapped up in that wood there, bro. God, you're so handsome. I love him. He is definitely becoming one of my favorite snakes. He's just so awesome to take out, handle, work with. Check his vibes, see how his body language is. The other day he was a little he was a little crazy the other day. I took him out to handle him for a little bit and he was kind of just like I don't know if it was it was one of the hotter days last week. So it was kind of uh, it's a little hot today too. But uh, anytime they're a little hotter, they're a little bit crazier. But he's doing pretty good today. I'll put you back on your cage. God, he's so handsome. He's so handsome and thick, Mr. Russ. All right. Put you back in there. Look at that, dude. He's so big. Put your tail in there. Thank you, sir. You saw how easy that just was. I just opened up the cage, grabbed him, took him out, played with him a little bit, put him back. Easy peasy, right? Hopefully the Mambas are that easy. But something tells me that they're not going to be. So, let's get this can ready. I'm gonna switch spots with Schmalix right now. Moment of truth. Let's get these guys out of the cage. It is filthy. I'm gonna start feeding them separate. Uh, the way that I've been feeding them lately, uh, they've been eating a lot of live stuff. So I throw like four or five mice in there at a time. So that way they definitely both eat. They haven't really been fighting over food lately, but it is Definitely something that you want to watch out for. Okay, so there's one. <laughs> I love when you like flip up the hide box and like you only find like one. It's always like an absolutely great feeling. You're like, oh, one. I want two. All right, so let's see. Whoa, right there. <laughs> oh, so these vision cages, they have lips at the top, see? So, you know, sometimes you go up in the lip makes them a little bit harder to get out of the freaking cage. We like to stay up there because it's nice and up, 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 up. There we go, there we go. All right, cool. So now I got 
him down. Let's see if we can. Uh, okay. Where's the other one? Back there. Okay. So let's go ahead. Woo! Ah! <laughs> oh god! Grab this one. Oh, they're crazy! Freaking mamas! Oh. All right. Whoa! Oh god! <laughs> Woo! Freaking! They just come right back up on you. It's crazy. All right. So there's one. It's not so bad. A bit bigger. They've gotten a little bit bigger since I've had them, right? Mm -hmm. A little bit. They're they're not too bad. That one, the lighter green one. You see how one's a little bit more duller green. This lighter green one. That's the fast one. This one you gotta watch out for. All right. So let's get in here. Don't need that. Oh, we got a nice shed from the other day. Ooh, full body shed. Whole mouth, head, eyes. All right, so let's see, this snake is, but they're pushing like four and a half, five feet. Yeah. Five, yeah, not bad. Not too shabby. All right, so let's go in here. I'm gonna take all this substrate out. You can see, dude, they freaking, little poops, man. Mambas, their metabolisms are super fast snakes. They're very active. So you would notice like all the slower stuff, like the gaboons, the puff adders, the, the rhino, they are they don't really move a whole lot. Their metabolisms are very slow. They poop like once every couple weeks. Mambas, fast metabolism. They eat a lot, they poop a lot. So we're going to do a pretty good little clean out of this substrate and then we're gonna get this thing set up. So I'll spare you the boring stuff. Ah! All right, so grapevine, look how big these pieces are. Expensive though. 130 bucks for freaking great money. It's crazy, everything. Inflation is real, guys. I don't care, I don't care what your freaking stats are. Shit's real. Everything's more expensive, especially if you're a freaking business owner. You would know more than anybody. Supplies, everything. High demand, low supplies, everything's freaking expensive as crap. So we're just gonna squeeze this these are big. It's really hard to fit this in here. I'm probably gonna have to take the glass off. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to take the glass off to get this piece in there because it is it's probably as big as the whole cage. So let's go ahead. Go like this. Oh yeah. Look at that. Look at that. So this piece, I just want to go like this across the whole top. Let's see here. Woo! Look at that. Way better. Hell yeah, that is fan freaking tastic. Plenty of room for them to climb around now. It was very bare before, like not a whole lot of climbing spots. Definitely want plenty, plenty of room for them to like do their thing. They're only really super active at night. They don't really, they hide and sleep all day for the most part. So, all right, let's get these bad boys back in the cage. They're gonna love all these freaking branches now, I'll tell you that. Should I get them both at the same time? I think I could do that. Two at once, huh? Yeah. Let's see here. Let's go this one. And then let's go this one. Right here. Woo! Holy crap! Dude, fast! Man, two at one time. Ha! Cool! Ja! Woo! Ha! God. Oh God, he's getting real close to my hand. All right, let's go here. Excuse me, Mambies. Go into your home, please. Look at them. Oh, so much death. So dangerous. Freaking Africa's deadliest, man. Gnarly. So cool, though. I love how bright and green they are. At least they're really pretty. Very dangerous, but at least very pretty. So that's cool. All right, so that was it. Pretty easy, right? So we're just going to go grab some rats. We're going to feed off some snakes for the end of the video. And that's a wrap, guys. Okay, let's feed some stuff. Spitters, you're crazy. Oh, my God. Okay. Dude, you got to be quick because they just come flying out of the cage. Like, they're freaking nuts, dude. They just bite aimlessly. 
One came flying out of the cage a couple weeks ago. I almost got it. Hey, look. You just gotta bite them. You just literally have to let them bite it. And then just let them do their freaking thing. I just wanted to get rid of some of these small rats so I can get to a medium sized rat. Medium sized rat for her is perfect. She just ate a, she just ate a medium rat like a week or so ago. Let's see how she acts today. Dude, she is a wild one. Let's see, hey, look. Look, she just turns around. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Come on. There you go. Boom. Done. My little rat eater. Yeah, she's like, oh, thanks, Dad. So I'm just going to close this. She's very territorial. So I got to be really careful closing this glass because if I make her angry, she'll just let go of that rat and then that's it. She's like, screw you, Dad. I'm not eating. All right, so Kilo, let's go over here to my boy. See how you're acting today? He's been a freaking jerk lately. Look, turn around. Look, look, turn around, dude. Look over here. Hey, yo, dude, hey, stop trying to escape. Look, right here, right here, dude. Right here, dude. Right here. Look, hey, right here. Oh, God, he's coming for my hand. See that? Come here, look. Okay, hey, dude. Today, bro, kilo, relax, dude. Chill the freak out, bro. Need to get him some water. I'm just gonna throw that in his water bowl. <sighs> Everything's really hot in this room today, so every, every, all the animals are just like on edge right now. So let's do another medium wrap for psychopath number two. Woo! Woo! God. He just bit the freaking cage, dude. Oh! Get in there. Come on. Oh. Oh. Holy crap, dude. Okay, the zebra spitters, we gotta separate them to feed them, so I'm not even gonna do that here on video. Let's get a uh, shot of the gaboon. God. Gnarly. Such a fast. Striking, serious freaking animal right there, dude. Holy crap. All right, so now we got this big Eastern that we gave some Panicare a couple weeks ago now. And he's doing great. This is that wild caught Eastern that my buddy brought me. He's been eating. He ate, he already ate a rat last week. I'm just gonna throw that one right there. Let him do his thing with it. That's what I did last week too. He didn't strike at it or bite it. I just threw it in the cage and put it on top of his hide box, came in here an hour later and it was gone. A lot of snakes are like that, man. You don't really have to like tease them and get them to eat. Some of them just eat great on their own. You just have to throw the rat in there, let them do its thing. Don't freak them out or anything and everything's fine. So I've got another medium rat right for you guys. We're doing this fast. Spectacle. There you go, easy. Easy, easy. Here, we got a couple more small rats. So we can go up here, you know, give one to the black spitters. These guys are on small rats. I mean, it's a pretty big meal for them, but they're taking it down, no problem. So I just go in here, give them some food. Just literally put it right in front of their hide box, easy. And then we got Pearl, Kilo's little girlfriend, who is still kind of on the little side. She eats a lot. It's crazy how, oh my god. She just goes It's crazy how slow she's growing. Like, I've had monocles, that, that's, it's hit or miss. Some of them grow really fast. I've had some grow to be monsters, and then some are just like small, like that one. That monocle right there is five, six years old. She's pretty small. So I guess it just all depends all different variations of things. All right, what do we still have over here? Oh, we got the indigo over here, hey dude. Oh, you're in shed? Yeah, let's see. Yep, indigo still eats. Now, I gotta soak this indigo. He's got a, we'll probably do a video about that. 
but he's got a serious eye cap issue right now. Chandler was here trying to get the eye cap off the other day. He was trying to help me out. And dude, both of us couldn't do it. So I gotta give that snake a really good soak here soon. So that way we can fix that eye cap issue. It's like a double eye cap that is just really on there and it's freaking driving me crazy. All right, so we got one more small rat left. Who should it go to? Maybe this little cop, this little copperhead right here. Let's see if Penny wants it. There you go, sweetie. Just like that, super freaking easy. Next up, probably in the next day or so, we're gonna feed Rusty, feed the spitters, a couple other things. Uh, we don't wanna feed everything today, we're gonna break it up a little bit. Like I said, I have to work with some of the animals in a couple days, so I don't wanna feed them and I have to take them out of their cages in a couple days and I'm doing some filming stuff for something that you guys will find out about soon. Um, and that's it, right? That's all there is to do. <sighs> so boom. Boom. Killed it. Yeah, always. Killed it. Another day. I gotta get ready for dinner. It's my brother's birthday. Well, yesterday was my brother's birthday, but he's having another dinner tonight for it. Hey, he deserves it. Well, yeah, he does deserve it. 30's a big one. 30, 30. Go say happy birthday to Chase, my mm -hmm. brother. He's 30 years old now. Till next time, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. All the snakes are doing great. Cages are nice and clean. We're gonna work on, I'm gonna rearrange a bunch of things in this room. We're gonna upgrade some cages. We're gonna upgrade Littlefoot's cage. We're doing a lot of upgrades here shortly. Update on the property and all that stuff soon. I'll do that in the next video. Tattooing Paul Cuffero. You guys know Paul. I tattooed him a few weeks ago. I'm finishing a tattoo on him. Um, oh no, not tomorrow, next Saturday. So stay tuned for that. Next few videos, I'm gonna go over to Paul's property, tattoo him, check out his animals. It's gonna be pretty tight. Beautiful. Yeah. Can't wait. Tyler Nolan tattoos for your merch. Just online. Just go, just go buy. Check it. out the website. Buy a shirt, Try hoodie, them. hat. You know, got some cool stuff on there. Till next time, guys. Peace out. <laughs>